all right everyone what's going on back again with another video and today i'm going to be talking about uh something from pokemon go uh that i actually i found out yesterday um i was going to make the video yesterday but i had things to do uh because obviously i have things to do outside of youtube so whenever i can let you guys know is when i'll let you guys know I'll try to let you know as soon as possible. Um, so I'm coming up on uh, 50 subscribers now, so that's pretty dope. Um, so uh, shout out to all my subscribers, first of all, for subscribing to me. Um, just wanna let you guys know that I appreciate you guys watching my videos. I never actually gave a shout out, but you know, just thought about it. Like, if one few guys, I wouldn't have that many, so, or none for that matter. So shout out to you guys give you a give yourself a thumbs up for that now let's get into this so as you guys already know pokemon go is down worldwide um i'm not gonna go and read the whole thing i'm just gonna give you a synopsis being that i already read it i'm sure you guys already know about this and for those of you that uh can't play pokemon go just yet uh because they're saying it's still out uh as of now um Go ahead and watch this video because there's something, like I said, I want to share with you. So, uh, yeah. Okay. I was just reading. Okay. Alright, guys. So, anyway, ignore that and let's get into this topic. Stay tuned. Alright, so basically it says here, Pokemon Go is experiencing a worldwide outage, basically. And they basically saying that Tuesday morning, the players around the world was complaining. They couldn't log into their game. Um, and then I, as you can see here, it says, uh, you know, from Pokemon Go app uh, on Twitter saying, we're investigating an issue which is preventing trainers from logging in. Uh, and that, here it says, uh, as the issue affects all players, uh, they're saying that it appears that the issue is tied down to Pokemon Go itself and not Google or Pokemon Trainer Club servers. And a lot of people were saying that uh, the most recent logging issues were caused by Pokemon Trainer Club servers outage and not an actual issue. Now, the game servers. But they basically were saying that um, the outage is a reminiscent of the game's early days, uh, basically when Pokemon Go first came out. Uh, it's saying that the timing of Pokemon Go's outage is a bit odd, and it occurred in the peak uh, outside of the peak traffic hours. They basically were saying that most of the United States would basically sleep uh, when this happened, so they're saying it's uh, not likely that the service outage was caused by a traffic overload. Now, they're saying it's possible that Niantic was conducting some server maintenance or pushing some sort of server-side update, but they were saying that's unlikely as Pokemon Go admitted they didn't know why the game was down. Now, uh, they basically saying here that the... Uh, that, you know, Niantic might be pushing uh, or pushing through and or implementing uh, a new feature in the game, so probably that's why this is going on. So if you see anything wrong, wrong with the game, this is probably what's going on, who knows, because you know Niantic really doesn't uh, share things with us, like when it involves updates, they kind of like release it like they did Ditto and Gen 2. Nobody really knew we didn't do anything. So, uh, it's saying here, uh, they don't expect uh, Pokemon Go to remain down for long, and they said as of 7.30 Eastern Standard Time, uh, the, the players of Pokemon Go uh, on Twitter are basically reporting that they can get back into the game. So, uh, basically, whatever that was affecting the game uh, was starting to subside, and um, the one the players who was able to log in the game, it was seen kind of laggy. So, um, basically, they said the game is still down for a lot of players, and um, so if you can't log in, you know, don't be alarmed or whatever it is. So just letting you guys know that. But yeah, like I said, I wasn't going to read the whole thing. I'll just give you like a little synopsis of what was going on um, or read it word verbatim. So, guys, uh, that's going to basically sum this up because um, that wasn't what I wanted to share with you guys. Instead, it, it was this. So let's get into this, what I had to show you guys, because like I always say, Anything I try to find, I try to let, let you guys know uh, as soon as possible. So, let's get into this. Stay tuned. Alright, guys. 
that? <laughs> so, um, basically, we're back, and uh, it says here, meet the double. Now, before I continue, I came up with this idea. I just didn't know somebody else found out or knew it was actually a such thing. Uh, now, this is not an update or nothing like that from Niantic. Just, uh, it was something um, that uh, someone else found, uh, and it says, meet the double bounce catch, the newest fad in the art of uh, throwing Pokeballs. Now it says here, trainers, today's news are on the funny side of things. A number of Redditors discovered an interesting bug slash feature while catching Pokemon with curved throws titled the Double Bounce Catch. Now, we're going to get into that, so stay tuned. Alright, so it says, in short, the idea of the throw is to perform a very difficult stunt throw in which the poke Pokeball bounces from the Pokemon and lands on it, resulting in a successful throw. Now, I was blown away because I found this out yesterday. Uh, like I said, I was going to make a video yesterday, but I, I was busy. But here you guys go right here. So it says, you read that right. The newest Pokemon Go throw fashion is centered around a bouncing ball, and it's super difficult. It, you read that again. It is super difficult. So you guys can actually try this. Uh, I'm going to try it because um, basically I had the idea first. At least I thought I did. Uh, I was talking to one other trainer. He said, no, because Pokemon uh, Niantic is probably not going to implement nothing like that because they don't want the game to be that much more easier than it already is. Yada, yada. What a Debbie Downer. Yeah, I'm talking to you. If you're watching my channel, you know who I'm talking to. Because uh, you're being a, a Debbie Downer. And no one likes a Debbie Downer. So, basically, it says here, the quest for Discovery started with a Reddit thread titled, I have no proof of this, but I once bounced a Pokeball off a of Weedle. As he was finishing attacking, he caught him after the ball fell and hit him again. Now, it says, as usual, the internet did not disappoint. The trick was considered impossible, extremely rare at first, but was soon proven to be probable and repeatable by Benchy, as illustrated in the video on top of the article. Now, it says, it seems that the condition for the trick to work is, are as follows. So, if you guys want to try this, like I said, you can actually try this. So, it says... The target Pokemon must be finishing its attack animation. I'll say that again. The target Pokemon, meaning the Pokemon that you're catching, must be finishing its attack animation. But it must not be finished. So, it has to be close to finishing, but not completely done. And then it says, you need to hit him with a curved throw at the right angle. So, the bounce ball hits... Oh, hits it again. Now, so, so far, the highest number of reported bounces is three. As shown by a Russian Pokemon Go player, YMZ TV. Shout out to you, YMZ TV. It says, if you have a recorded double or maybe triple bounce throw, share with us on Twitter or in the comment section below. Now, I've actually watched this, uh, I actually watched this video. And uh, I'm just going to say I wasn't excited. It, 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 it didn't hype me up. And like I said, I'm not going to throw dirt on somebody else's channel. Because I know people have other subscribers and more subscribers. Like I'm just, a, I'm, I'm just starting out, and even so, I don't throw dirt on nobody else's name or nobody else's video or channel. So people can do the same to me, and that's not what I want for my channel. So basically, uh, when I saw this video, this video right here, uh, again, I'm a shout out to YMZ TV. But I wasn't all that hyped when I saw his video, and I'm gonna leave it at that. Um, you guys can go check the video out and see if you like it, but I wasn't all pleased with it. Uh, but, I mean, like I said, that's why you subscribe to this channel. But anyway, uh, continue doing your thing, YMZ TV. Um, you know, I try to give people the utmost respect. So, anyway, guys, that's going to wrap this video up. Like I said, you, you can try that. Uh, anything else I find, this is the site that I follow. Uh, I follow comicbook.com, and I follow Pokemon Go Hub. Net. So you guys can actually go ahead and uh, follow those channels like I say in, uh, in my later videos. And uh, guys, that's going to basically wrap this video up. Make sure you guys, because uh, I'm going to keep you guys updated on anything else, like I said, that I find. So, you know. Um, oh, excuse me. Um, but yeah, because I have to go grab some breakfast. I'm just extremely hungry. But I put you guys first before my hunger, so that deserves a, a like. So make sure you guys slap a like on this video comment down below and uh yeah turn on notifications on crush those notifications uh so you can stay updated on my latest videos but yeah guys uh that's basically gonna wrap this video up so guys as always peace and love to you all and stay blessed vortex style
and I'm out. Peace.